a Japanese couple flew to India to hire a surrogate mother. There, a contract was arranged with Mehta, the surrogate mother. An embryo was created using the husband's sperm and an egg harvested from an anonymous donor, which was then implanted into Mehta's womb. A month before the baby was born, the couple divorced. The father, Ikufumi, still wanted the child, whereas his wife did not, so he flew to India alone to get the baby. Baby Manji had three mothers. Sadly, legally, she had none. A day after baby Manji was born, 17 explosions rocked Ahmed Dabat, and baby Manji was moved to a hospital in Jaipur for her safety. There, she was breastfed by a family friend, Shweta, and she stayed in the hospital after her health improved because it was unclear who would receive her. Ikufumi then went to the Japanese embassy to secure a passport for baby Manji. However, it was denied as the woman who birthed baby Manji was Indian, not Japanese. The Indian government also did not allow Ikufumi to adopt baby Manji as they did not allow single men to adopt baby girls. Ikufumi then tried to secure an Indian passport for baby Manji. However, he needed a birth certificate and the birth certificate needed to have the name of the mother and father. As the mother could not be determined, the passport was denied. Ikufumi's mother then came to India to look after baby Manji, and after a long legal battle, the court allowed the birth certificate to be issued, stating only Ikufumi as the father, and later on, a certificate of identity was issued, and baby Manji was allowed to be taken home to Japan. The case of baby Manji brought many questions to the fore, such as, what is a mother? What is a father? What does it mean to be a human? And what makes you a citizen? However, the biggest issue that came out of the case of baby Manji is the complications that you face with the aftermath of commercial surrogacy. In this case, who is the mother, especially in cases where there are three mothers involved?